But first, Picketopia. You know, here in DFW, we are known for our barbecue, cowboys, and our culture, but not necessarily for our pickling skills. Well, in Old East Dallas, one business owner learned from the pickle pros of New York City and has created a pickle lover's paradise right here locally. Landon Wexler paid them a visit. Too often when you're talking to someone, they'll say, I don't like pickles. Well, I'll tell you the answer to that. You didn't bring them to the right place. That's why you got to bring them to Picketopia, where they're pickling everything from carrots the cucumbers. We'll have a passion for pickles. After retiring from a career in the food industry, Lee Thielen found a pungent passion project. Uh, went to New York quite a few times. Uh, would go up and visit the uh, pickle guys and kind of got inspired. It's something we didn't have in Dallas, so I decided to come here and start something up and just see if it'd work. He took notes from the pickling pros of the North and brought them home. I started working on some at home, see if I could do it and it turned out pretty well, and so I decided to uh, open up a business. Following several trial runs and a successful taste test with his family and friends, Lee decided to try his hand at opening a pickling paradise. After manufacturing about 15 recipes, I decided to just go ahead and open up my own storefront. He named it Pickletopia. For amateur pickle people like myself, Lee gave us the 411 on three different kinds of pickles. We have new pickles, new pickles, are cucumbers that have been fermented only for a week and a half, two weeks. And uh, when we bring these out, they're gonna be real cucumbery, real good with uh, bagel, schmear, and uh, salmon. Uh, probably our most popular. Uh, they're halfway between a new and a full sour. That's what people really like to put on a hamburger or just slice up and just eat. And then we have the full sours. The full sours we have in three, regular deal, then we have garlic deal and spicy deal. Lee wanted to show this rookie how real pickled veggies are supposed to taste, starting with something with a little kick. This is our newest item, our carrots. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a sample of this and we're pretty proud of this because uh, we've never been able to do a recipe that we like. It's got a kick to it. Yeah. It's a spicy carrot. Yes. Dang good spicy <laughs> carrot. And it's pickled? Yes. But I'll tell you, feeling didn't let me stop feeling the heat. Jalapeno, of course. Sliced jalapenos. This is for your nachos. Pretty standard. Ours are a step above a can. I would say. Give it a shot, though. Going to go up and heat a little bit. I'm feeling that little bit of heat. Mm. That's a good jalapeno. Pickled jalapeno. <clears throat> Uh, you can tell I can handle it real well. Uh, uh, that would be great for a nacho. Right, right. After that first round, you got me dabbing myself off. We're going to cool off a little bit now with olives. Okay. Uh, our olives are going to be different. We don't put oil in ours. Ours come kosher. Different kinds of mixes that um, uh, are distinct in regions. This is Italian uh, mix. This is uh, called uh, Campania. Campania is from Naples and around the Amalfi Coast. It's where they grow their lemons. It's got a really nice, clean, fresh flavor. Yep. That's the that's our go-to for a martini. Mm. But see, that would be a great martini, it's clean, but that wouldn't be a Bloody Mary. I don't know if I would. No, we'll get to that. Then our Spanish. This is our best seller. The Spanish olive. Mm -hmm. It's gonna taste like pizza. I need a pie made of those. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's the best seller. I don't understand why. That's a Bloody Mary olive? That's a Bloody Mary olive. I know my Bloody Marys. That's right. So now you know, folks, for that perfect pickle on that hamburger or to find that perfect olive for that Bloody Mary, Pickletopia has all your pickling needs taken care of right here in Old East Dallas. For more information, go to CW33.com.